Welcome back to the channel, guys. I hope everybody is having a great day. I'm going to be giving you five reasons as to why you should purchase the Tesla Model 3. Before I start the list, however, I'm going to show you how to get in on the Model 3. One option is using the Tesla app on your phone, and the other option is this little NFC key card. Just give the area below the camera a little tap with the card. A couple beeps and the mirrors folding out will signal the unlock, so now all you have to do is you press it on the big portion of the door handle and pull out on the skinny portion. To start the vehicle, have your foot on the brake and place the NFC card right there on the cup holder and enter your password and you're free to go. All Teslas are not required to use passcodes, however, I do highly recommend them. And then once you're ready to get out of the vehicle, most people will assume this is the way to get out. You just lift this and then push, but that's not how to do it or else it'll damage your window trim. So what you do is you press this button right here and then it'll unlatch the door and then you're responsible for the rest. Just for the viewing pleasure, I'm going to pull this. And then what happens is... Yeah, that's the uh, warning message that you get. And once you're ready to get out of the car and lock the Model 3, you just take the key, place it on the same spot, mirrors will fold in automatically. Okay, now for the actual list portion of the video. We'll start up here with the Model 3's front trunk. As you can see here, the Model 3's front trunk is actually pretty big. For a little added convenience, Tesla adds a couple of grocery bag hooks up in the front trunk. You do have to be very careful whenever closing the Model 3's front trunk lid because it is made of aluminum and is very flexible and very easy to bend. There are two hard points right here and here in which you're supposed to push down and wait for it to latch. Now for the rear. Opening the trunk is very simple. It's just a simple latch underneath the Tesla logo. Once inside the trunk of the Model 3, you're going to notice that there is a large amount of storage space, including this little space over here to the left. Another thing to note, the seats do fold down to provide more storage. Then in the back of the Model 3, you have these little storage spaces for like magazines or whatever your kids are going to throw back there, like candy, Cheerios. And you got some door pockets on uh, all four doors. Uh, the front doors do have cup holders in the door pockets, which is extremely convenient. Not back here though. If you do want cup holders, you just pull this little console thing down. Oh man, there you go. In the car up front, I'm gonna show you some of the storage areas up here. But like I said, door pockets earlier, you know, cup holders and stuff like that. You press this little thing right around here and then you have a pretty sizable amount of storage. This, of course, you just press that, that opens up, there's your charging dock, and then you lift this up and you, it just sort of just keeps going. I mean, it's, it's a very large amount of storage. One little quirk about the center lid here is if you, fail to close it too many times, watch what happens on the screen. There we go. And then moving on to the center console right here, once you have the lid open, you're greeted by this little amount of storage, but then you take that out and you have a large amount of storage, well lit, might I add, and a 12 volt power socket. Convenience meaning you don't have to pay for gas. You get a pretty decent amount of range. I mean, I get 310 miles out of a single charge. I have the Model 3 long range dual motor. The best part about it is I can just plug it in overnight and I wake up to a full charge every morning. And of course, I'm gonna explain this. 3% of the people watching this that don't know this, you can go to these things called supercharger stations. Let's just say I'm gonna go drive to Ocean City. A really neat thing is it'll actually tell me how much battery percentage I will have left whenever I reach the supercharger and my destination. And not paying for gas and maintenance is great. However, people are going to wonder, oh, what's going to happen to these things 10 years from now? The Tesla Model 3 actually has a 75 kilowatt hour battery consisting of 4,416 individual cells, which basically means you can go to the service center and be like, hey, my battery is not performing the way it used to. They could go in and actually just change the individual cells instead of having to replace the entire battery, which results in a much lower cost to replace. And it's good for the environment if you're into that. The interior of the Tesla Model 3 is very polarizing. Either people love it or they hate it. I mean, I bought a Model 3, so I obviously don't mind it. Next up, moving on to the back seats. The back seats of the Model 3 actually have a ton of space. I am six foot one and I have an adequate amount of leg room. And if you really want to get comfortable back here, all you have to do is pull this little armrest down and yeah, you're golden. A couple of more quick mentions in the back seat. You do have these nifty little coat hangers for dry cleaning and stuff, and then you have rear climate vents, and right below it you have two charging ports for the rear occupants. Another reason to be in the back seat is to enjoy the view out of this all glass roof, which is just pretty cool in my opinion. Now moving on to the center screen. 
This is where you control uh, all the functions from the car. So down here you have controls and you can do, I'm just gonna make this brief, but you can adjust your mirrors from your steering wheel by using this little scroll wheel here, which is actually pretty cool. And then you can control the steering wheel from the uh, steering wheel uh, using these little control wheels, which is kind of a neat little thing. Moving on from that. And then you got your lights, uh, you know, you can just control your lights from here and uh, your interior lights. So you have uh, your locks, you can actually do four key cards and you can even add more if you really need to. And then window lock, child locker in the screen, there's nothing, there's no physical buttons for that. Display, you can change from day and night mode and auto night mode looks pretty cool. Driving, I like this because you can change the acceleration from chill to standard. I use chill in the winter, I don't know if it was honestly intended to be called chill because of winter driving but what chill mode does it is it limits the amount of acceleration that it puts out so it's not as torque heavy so you put your foot down by accident you're not going to like you know spin out and then steering mode you can do comfort standard and sport the steering in this car is very precise however it's still numb as hell so sport steering it basically there's no additional precision or anything it just weighs the steering a lot and then regen braking and then creep mode slip start And then if we get down to autopilot, uh, now I did not order enhanced autopilot for this car because I already have it in the Model X, but this is what you get if you don't order autopilot, this is standard, and you get forward collision warning, you know, which is pretty good, especially because, you know, sometimes you don't pay attention and everyone is uh, guilty of that. And then you have lane departure warning, uh, automatic emergency braking, and obstacle wear acceleration. And then moving over to the left side of the screen, you have your uh, trunks that you can open up right here and then your charge port uh, manually opens. So I'm gonna go ahead and press that. And I'll see if you can see it in the mirror. And then if you accidentally bump and it, it's not like, oh crap, like uh, I have to get out. It's, no, you just press close and uh, yeah, it goes and uh, closes. And then right here you can press your camera and then you can see what's behind you full time, which is pretty great. You know, it's just that little extra sense of security and uh, your charging state, which I mean, you could, you could either do that or tap right here and then your voice controls and then your windshield wipers down there. So you can either tap on that little thing right there or you could tap over here on the stock and watch what happens. It actually gives you a menu because there's no like um, one of those wheels or anything like that. It's just a very clean, simple design over here. And then a trip odometer and stuff like that. Then you have your basic climate controls. This is a uh, pretty cool climate control because like you can, this is how you change it. It's, it's uh, pretty neat uh, because it's just one big flowing vent. All seats are heated and they heat up pretty quickly, which is pretty good. Then of course something I like is keep climate on, so I feel like going into the grocery store, pick up a gallon of milk or whatever, you don't want to pull out your phone and set the climate control when you're done, you just pick, keep climate on, and you just hop out and it stays on, and then you have a warm car whenever you're ready. Now what is it like to drive the Model 3? For starters, there's absolutely no noise. Around town driving, it's uh, very nice, it's very zippy especially, because of the instant torque, uh, there's no uh, motor or anything like that, so uh, watch what happens whenever I floor it, just, you know, you get a very <laughs> big burst of torque. Say there's someone coming really fast, you gotta like really pull out of here, you know, you pull out and then, there you go, you know, it's, it's very quick. Tesla claims this car can do 0 to 60 in 4.5 seconds, which, <laughs> you know, it's pretty quick. And it's a lot of fun, like, you know, just throw, just, you know, going quick and then digging out of corners. Like, this car can handle. It is very surprising. It's not engaging. I'm not going to be one of those people who says, oh, these Teslas are the best driver's car. You know, no, they're not. I mean, if you really want a good driver's car, go get a Porsche GT3 with a manual. But, like, I mean, for what it is, it's a daily driver that you can thrash around a back road if need be. Plus, it's just a lot of fun. You can beat some people at a traffic light, you know, have your fun and all that. I mean, just as a commuter car, it's very, very comfortable. The ride is pretty buttery if you ask me. It actually rides better than the Model X because, first of all, the Model X is massive. Uh, second of all, the 22 inch wheels, yeah, they're not very comfortable. They don't provide much sidewall at all. The seats in this car are incredibly comfortable. I, I have no idea how they do it, but they're honestly more comfortable than the Model X seats. However, the Model X seats in the P100D are ventilated. These are not, so black seats in the summer heat, <laughs> we're gonna have an interesting time with that. Better carry a paper towel everywhere I go. Now on to the subject of safety. The Tesla Model 3 actually scored a perfect 5-star rating in every category and subcategory of the NHTSA's testing. Not to mention it showed the lowest probability of injury of all of the carts that the NHTSA has ever tested. Plus it can withstand loads four times its own weight, which means it can have over 16,000 pounds on top of it without crushing it. 
Now, whenever the NHTSA did a side crash test, it showed the lowest cabin intrusion from any vehicle that they have ever tested. Now, just to give you an idea of how hard it is to roll these things over, the NHTSA actually had to use a forklift to roll this thing over. Tesla said it was the safest car ever, and they have data to prove that it is. Now, onto the subject of pricing, the Tesla Model 3 actually starts at $42,900. And that, of course, is before savings. What do you get for the base price of $42,900? You actually get a pretty decent amount of stuff for what you pay for. 264 miles of EPA estimated range, the car can go about 125 miles per hour and it does a 0-60 to 60 time of 5.6 seconds. All Tesla Model 3s currently sold do have the premium interior and sound package. For $7,000 extra, you can opt for the dual motor all-wheel drive version, which gives you 310 miles of range, 145 mile an hour top speed, and a 4.5 second 0-60. And if that isn't enough performance, you can go with the dual motor all-wheel drive performance variant, which gives you 310 miles of range, 155 mile an hour top speed, and a 3.3 second 0 to 60. The performance upgrade costs about $11,000 extra. A fully spec'd out Model 3 is just shy of $70,000, which is a really good deal in my opinion. And just like that, this video is over. I really hope I answered some of your questions. By all means, feel free to use my referral code if you plan on buying a Tesla. It could be a Model 3, Model S, or Model X. Doesn't really matter. Just as long as you use my referral code, you will get six months of free unlimited supercharging. Thank you for watching, and I will see you next time.